Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Lieutenant Williams and Captain Shirley Sanchez smash that subscribe button, go and have them old hags smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons Devil Dog, MCC Placa, Ricardo, Maladjusted, Bankroll Suave, Armando, Mickey Bats, Carmine the Pitbull, American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, Ruben, Cornbread Killer, CJ Zavalda, EOP Whisperer, Fuck Your 602s, Las Vegas Flights Live, Gavino, Heavy Traffic, Ooh, I like that one, Heavy Traffic, Pre of These Nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Bon, La Reina, Hernan, Don't Trip, Winston, Tony, The Mexican Snowman, Abuelita's Journey, Abuelita's Irma, Breathing Underwater, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead With Love, Elbert 12, J.I., A.I. Vega, Feel The Little Drummer Boy, Esquiel, Big Bad for <coughs> La Herga G, hold on, let me wet my whistle, no edits, Big Bad 48, Nova, the retired CO, Michigan Wolverines, Mikey 559, the homie Mario Chevelle 66, Gigi and Dallas Herrero. If you have not already signed up, you're going to see a cell fire from hell if you go sign up for that Patreon. The one I was explaining before. So make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. This motherfucker, motherfuckers. Yesterday I did a video on workplace violence. All right, I got my shit together. You're going to expect the video being dropped every morning before 5 a.m. Stay tuned. The video was on workplace violence, right? I have a young individual who keeps in contact with me. This person started the department when I exited the department. You can say I'm vicariously living out the rest of my years through this individual. Man, he texts back and he's like, holy bro holy shit he's like my only fear about being a supervisor is dealing with other dumb fucking co-workers and then he wrote back how much shit do you got suppressed g <laughs> i said so much stuff suppressed that's why i suffered from severe ed while i was employed which fucking reminds me i got so much shit built up inside of me that I can go on for years talking about the bullshit, man. And I will. Oh, I will. Even people that know me, they're like, and know the department, they're like, bro, you're barely scratching the surface when it comes to this. I'm like, facts, man. I, I, as much as I've already revealed to you guys, I'm barely scratching the surface. Could you imagine? Hector, get to the goddamn point. Here we go. Told you guys I was going to start diving into my supervisor roles. Sergeant and Lieutenant Donovan. When it went all bad, man. You guys know my style. You guys know my personality. I haven't fucking changed. Except my patience is much lower. When I was a brand new sergeant, you go through the gauntlet, man. You go through the gauntlet. You, you're on probation. You're on rotation. It fucking sucks, man. You're earning your bones all over again. You're paying your dues all over again. It fucking sucks, let me tell you. By that time, I was tired, man. Just tired. Basic training with the Army, Iraq. Proving myself as a young CO in Sentinella. Proving myself as a new sergeant. Proving myself as a new lieutenant. Just fucking tired of it. G. My first, of course, <clears throat> position was Charlie Yard RJD SNY Level 4 EOP. Fucking nightmare from hell. That was the first spot until Lieutenant Lyon got there. And we got there at the same time. However, he had already been a sergeant at Calipat for like one or two years. Therefore, he was able to bid. And he bid for that spot for some reason. He bid me out. So he bid me out of that one spot, which is good. I'm not complaining. Fuck that spot. Then I go over to Delta Yard, formerly known as the Four Yard, that fucking level four white EOP override inmate stab, ties the knife to his hand, a shank, stabs the officer, no less. We go over there, we put the boots to him. I mean, you put the boots to him. It was an attempted murder on a peace officer, right? He was a threat up until we could get that knife out, out of his fucking hand with the cut down tool. So we had to get the fucking cut down tool from the cent from the control booth. We put the boots to him within policy, all documented, all facts. 
Then I fucking found myself at the TTA sergeant, the little TTA clinic. <sighs> it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. I want you to imagine like an ER, like an ER out on the street where you got homeless people coming to the ER. There's no different than you got the Charlie Yard inmates, you got the A Yard, you got the chest pains allegations oh i got chest pains man down you got overdoses you got my neck my back my pussy hurts you got bath salts hit the scene oh no man you don't want to mix level 4 eop s and y image with bath salts you don't man you truly truly don't motherfuckers were making a scene and when i say making a scene they were tripping like Hey, you have a knife. You have a knife. You want to stab me? I'm like, no, dude. I'm a fucking sergeant. Hello. Ain't nobody here trying to stab you. You're the only dude in the fucking cage. No, 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 no. That guy over there, he's looking at me. Yeah, everybody's looking at you. You're making a fucking scene, dude. Relax, man. Relax. There was no talking to him. It was bad. God awful. I remember Charlie Yard used to send the fucking high and drunk inmates to TTA, and I used to get highly upset. Like, hey, leave them in their fucking cell. Like, clearly you guys didn't get taught correctly. I mean, Sentinel, you got a drunk or high inmate, you leave them in the fucking cell. That's the safest. Take notes, youngsters. Leave the motherfucker in the cell. Yeah, you're going to have to do periodically, especially these days, periodically do some uh, security checks. Make sure the dude doesn't die, choke on his vomit. But do not let him, let him out of that cell. Unless he has a cellmate, then he starts attacking him. That's a whole other story. We're not going there yet. So there's your boy, little foot soldier from hell, torpedo, Sergeant Bravo, kicking ass and taking names per the law. Fuck me, man. Per the law, per documentation, per, you know, poof. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Lieutenant Williams, white lady, trailer park type, huge ass tits, older lady. She was a lieutenant on Bravo Yard, formerly known as the Two Yard. Captain Sanchez. She was a female captain on that yard. So you had Bravo Yard. You had female Captain Sanchez, female Lieutenant Williams. You had a bitch ass Sergeant Bravo doing his tour of Vietnam through RJD hating life, realizing I made a drastic mistake transferring from Sentinel to Donovan immediately. Well, I'm making a name for myself, and this isn't tooting my own horn. This is just the facts, man. I'm going from little fucking Vietnam over here, boom, these little fucking battles, man. It fucking sucked. I guess these two ladies are fucking taking notes, catching wind, and putting their cheap ass hooker perfume on, and lathering up their old fucking faces, man, with lotion. I'm about to get off my probation. I see the light at the end of the fucking tunnel. Your boy sees the light, man. It was a long light, long tunnel. One year of BS. Good captain on Delta Yard. Man, they forced that guy to retire. That guy had no choice but to retire. He, he was a solid-ass lieutenant. Solid motherfucking lieutenant. Then he went to captain. And if, you ain't, if, you're, if you're worth a fuck... When you go up to, to captain, you're not going to like it, right? Except for that one good one that's still there and promoted to AW. But nonetheless, that guy is built different. Motherfucking United States Marine. Anyhow, yeah, he definitely did not like the dark side, man. He, so he bounced, rightfully so. He was my lieutenant on Delta Yard this day. I tell him, I'm happy. I knew the guys working ATM, the personnel assignments. And I kind of had a little homie hookup. In a way, they kind of said, hey, we're going to throw you a bone. You're going to go work at the hospital. And OP sergeant. I'm like, oh, beautiful. What a great break. Right? I've been fucking doing the Lord's work for a year. I'm tired of this shit. I get to go outside of the hospital. <laughs> Fuck me, man. That was the whole backstory. <sighs> So 
So I tell the captain, the solid or the yeah, the solid captain on Delta Yard, formerly known as the Four Yard. Hey, captain, it's my last week here, man, on Delta Yard. I'm gonna be going to the uh, hospital. <laughs> Muy chingon. I'm gonna be going to the hospital. OP sergeant. He's like, no, you're not. You're going to Adsig. I'm like, what? My jaw dropped. You're going to Adsig. He's like, yeah. Those two ladies over there requested you, and I signed the paperwork yesterday. I'm like, no, 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 fuck no, man. So I had to keep my bitch feelings inside. I had to keep my bitch feelings inside. I was not a happy camper. You mean to tell me your boy just did one full fucking tour of Vietnam, now this motherfucker's getting sent? To add seg, the worst, worst, more worst than Charlie Yard. More worst. And they had surveillance cameras in there. This is what I'm going to get to. All right. Well, Hector, this is good, man. This is good the way I think, the way you think, the way the inmates think. Well, isn't it good that there's cameras in there to keep you guys honest? No, man, absolutely not. Because then the inmates will take advantage and just fucking go full throttle with whatever they go full throttle with. Then we have to sit on our fucking hands and just take that shit, right? Getting shit thrown on us, getting piss thrown on us, getting head butted. I mean, yeah, you could do what you got to do then and there. You have to, but oh, no. What the fuck you mean by that, Hector? Stay tuned. So I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I never spoke to these fucking old hags. I never cared to speak to them. I had no business with them. I didn't like them. I was happily married. Even if I wasn't, they surely weren't my type, surely. Um, fuck, man. I get there. These, these fucking broads, man. Don't even. They just start emailing me policy. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is this, man? Hey, hey, Sarge. Hey, Sarge. Fucking annoying ass voice. Hey, Sarge. Fuck, man. Fuck me. They weren't, she was not a solid lieutenant. The other one was not a sergeant, a solid captain, let me tell you. Here's some policy that you might need. This is not even the other lady. This is all ladies' fucking voices sound to me. I'm not a happy camper. Housing Unit 6, Housing Unit 7. Those are the ad segs. Bravo Yard, formerly known as the Two Yard. There was four officers in each building on the floor. Four four floor cops. And you need that to do the, the guard one pipe check. You guys seen at the mall? You guys seen at the mall, the little blue thing, and you touch the little thing, it goes beep. Yeah, if you miss that, you're going to get written up for sure. Even if the place is on fire, they're going to want to know why you missed it. If you tell them it was on fire, that's not good enough for them. Well, they, as soon as I touch down, they take one officer away from me, from each building. Standardized staffing. You guys don't need four floor cops. You guys only need three, three f- cops over here and three cops over here on third watch. That's a fucking busy ass fucking schedule, man. You got to feed. Oh, no. Showers, phones, just fuck me, man. The inmates were off the hook. Off the hook. Cell fires. Go sign up for that Patreon. You want to see what a cell fire looks like. Cell fires. Boarding up. Gassings. Assaults. Batteries. Holy shit. And surveillance cameras everywhere to top it off right looking at these cameras like man i wish a motherfucking emp would just hear right now <laughs> so anyways anyways the whole point of this video is called heavy-handed and incompetence not on my part Adsec was burning down to the ground one day. Literally burning down, man. Um, uh, Incident after incident after incident. I must have had 10 fucking incidents in one day, man. 10 fucking incidents. 
And with that bitch as my lieutenant, I ain't getting no help. I ain't getting no saving grace. I ain't getting no airway. I ain't getting shit. I got shit coming. Nothing. It's a bad place. Bad situation to be in. <clears throat> it's on fucking fire, right? I wasn't the type to call my supervisor at all, ever. And I'm like, this fucking sucks, man. Fucking cops are over there fighting it out with the inmates. I'm over there fucking fighting it out with the inmates. It just fucking sucks. It just sucks. And the lieutenant, the female, was doing her rounds. And I meet her in front of the building. And you could see I was pissed. Like, I was pissed. I was pissed that the bitches requested me over there. They probably thought I was going to smash. I had no intentions. I was fucking pissed that I thought I had fucking skated clear. You can hear the shit in my voice, fucking bitches. <clears throat> that I had skated clear. I was going to go post up at the hospital, eat the good food out there, buy some Starbucks. I was pissed off that the inmates were out of control and they had, they had took a one officer from each fucking building. And you could, she could see the look on my face, right? Serious, upset look. And she said, Sarge, they told me you weren't going to like it. After this bitch requested me, they told me you weren't going to like it over here. They, they said that you weren't going to like it because you're heavy-handed and there's camera. I said, heavy-handed? What the fuck, lady? I said, hey, I don't go around beating up people for no reason. I follow policy and procedure. She said, no, 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 that's not what I meant. I said, look, this fucking place is burning to the ground. I just woke up my wife. This place is burning to the fucking ground, all right? And the, the look the bitch gave me was like, oh, well. Oh, well, that's going to fall on you, not fall on me. When I saw that look that she gave me, you guys know I'm good at reading people. I said, all right, cool, I got you cool she left horrible fucking day 20 incidents on the one of the last incidents your boy moved a little too fast and tore his fucking meniscus in the process true story right out i go right off into the sunset injured like a motherfucker <sighs> wow man that was some fucking bullshit let me tell you my proud, one of my proudest moments, um, definitely not. That pissed me off, man. I'm pissed off right now. I'm going to go drink some fucking pre-workout. I've already had four cups of chanate. I'm going to go drink my pre-workout. 18 minutes on this fucking episode. Message for today, man. Message for today is like, God help you. If you find yourself in a situation where two old ladies are trying to fuck you with that, keep pushing forward.